Hi everyone, so as you can probably tell, today's video is going to be a very exciting one. I want to introduce you to Buddy, the newest addition to our family. So he is a rescue pup from Amici Dog Rescue in Romania. He is about five months old and we've had him for just over two weeks. And as you can see, he's absolutely adorable. Um, whenever we walk him, everyone's like, oh my goodness, what breed is he? He's gorgeous. And we have no idea. He is a street dog, so you typically won't know what breed they are or more so what mix of breeds they are. Um, our guess is collie and um, he looks very collie but he actually has really long hair they just shaved him before travel so his hair's a lot more like kitty so we think there might be some poodle in there and you can't really tell um from here but i'll insert some pictures he actually has tiny little sausage legs um so we think he's either got dachshund like sausage dog or corgi or basset hound something like that in him because he does have very short legs. I'm actually amazed that he is sitting so nicely right now. He has a lot of energy and is just constantly wanting to play so luckily Kitty is happy to oblige and play with him. Um, but yeah I thought I would just do a quick video introducing you to Buddy, telling you about our experience adopting from Romania and in particular Amici Dog Rescue and then I also asked on my Instagram for any questions about Buddy or the adoption process so I will answer those at the end. Um, I'll see, do you want to sit down there with Kitty? Yep, he's had enough. Oh, good boy. So one of the main things that we have quickly learned about Buddy is that he is incredibly lazy. So if he's like in a position that he doesn't like, he can't even be bothered to get up and move away. He'll just like stand up on his top legs, pivot and then flop, um, which is what he just did there. So yeah, he's a very lazy dog, but then he also loves to play. So as I said, we've only had him for two weeks, but we feel very lucky. He is an amazing pup and he is actually toilet trained already, which is unbelievable. We ordered loads of puppy pads and we're prepared to have pee and poo everywhere. Um, but he is fully toilet trained, which is amazing. It took this little angel quite a while to get there, didn't it, Kit? So before we get into Buddy's story, I just want to touch on quickly, this is really uncomfortable and painful for me to talk about on camera. I feel like I'm getting upset already. Um, but if you've watched my channel or um, followed my Instagram, you will have seen Poppy in the background of pretty much all my videos. We actually lost Poppy at the start of lockdown. Um, she had been unwell for a while and it got a lot worse really quickly. Um, I don't want to get into it too much because I keep having to stop because I keep getting upset but um yeah after we lost Poppy um, we knew we wanted to adopt another dog we were obviously devastated and we were really worried about Kitty because she has lived with other dogs her entire life so we couldn't go out at all like even to the shops and leave her because Kitty has never been left in a house on her own she's always had at least another dog with her or when we lived with my mum like three other dogs she was one of four um so yeah that was a real concern for us we didn't want her to be sad and lonely so I don't know if you ever feel that you're fully ready to get another dog after you lose your dog but we knew that we had a lot of love to give and there are so many dogs that need a home so we started to look on lots of different rescue sites in the UK and abroad and I'd actually been following Amici for a really long time I have donated to them through my business before, um, my clothing line that I used to run and yeah they're an amazing charity and I just followed them for a long time so they were one of the rescues that we were really looking at. And one thing that was a little bit challenging but in the best way possible is that because of everything that's going on in the world right now, a really positive kind of side effects I guess of such a horrible situation is that a lot of rescue centres have been inundated with adoption and fostering requests so most of them have a fraction of the dogs that they normally have which is absolutely amazing and something that hopefully will just kind of continue now as people can more flexibly work and work from home a bit more um but yeah so that meant there were a lot less dogs um and not necessarily a dog that would fit in with our kind of life and that we would be able to provide the best home for in our local rescue centres and a lot of them also just kind of shut down adoptions just for safety reasons. So we'd kept an eye on Amici amongst a lot of other pages and we'd got to a point where we were kind of thinking let's just wait till this all blows over and we can go and visit a dog in person because it was really important to us obviously that the dog and kitty get on really well so we were thinking we would adopt an older dog um maybe 
four, five. Kitty is six now, so even her age or up, we kind of didn't really have any preferences. But one thing I knew is that we did not want to get a puppy. Then we saw Buddy's picture. So yeah, I was scrolling through Facebook one day and I saw Buddy's picture on the Amici website. And I was just like, oh my goodness. So he was actually shaved before travel, but he looks kind of like a cockapoo, um, which if you can tell from all of my other videos, um, both Poppy Kissy and then my mum's dogs, Teddy and Panda, are all cockapoos. So clearly we love them. Um, I just love crossbreeds in general. I mean, I love all dogs, so you can't show me a dog that I wouldn't love and want to take home. But yeah, we have a soft spot for kind of fluffy, scruffy dogs. So we saw Buddy's picture or I saw Buddy's picture and I'd been looking at a lot of dogs and showing them to Matt and I showed Matt his picture. I'll insert here what we saw. And Matt is normally the one who's a lot more reserved and cautious about making any kind of big life decision and I'm the one that's like, let's just do it, we'll figure it out. But straight away, Matt said, apply for him, let's just apply. So we filled in an application that night. Um, we didn't have that much information. It just said that he was a 10 week old puppy who had been found on the side of the road um, in Romania with his brother and sister. And they estimated that he would be small to medium size when fully grown. Obviously he's a rescue, we have no idea. Um, so yeah, everything that we kind of thought just went straight out the window. We were like, we can handle a puppy and we applied for him. So within 24 hours, um, both of his siblings, so his brother and his sister that he was found with, had um, next to them. So the way Amici do it is on Facebook. When a dog is reserved, they'll put reserved next to them and then the name of who they're reserved for. And both of them had reserved for someone. And we hadn't heard anything back yet about Buddy, but he went to reserves. So we were like, oh, we probably haven't got him. Um, but we kept checking back every day. I mean, multiple times every day. And then it ended up being about a week and we thought, right, there's just no way that we have got him. But I still just couldn't give up. And then one day we were chilling in the garden and I picked up my phone to check Facebook to see if his name had reserved for next to it. And I had a missed call from an unknown number and a voicemail and I was like oh my gosh Matt I think it's them so we listened to the voicemail and it was them saying hey it's Amici here and we wanted to call you about arranging a home check um we were so so excited uh, I can't even explain that feeling we would kind of resigned ourselves to the fact that we weren't gonna get him but we also still had a little bit of hope um so yeah that was such a happy day we panic tidied our house because it was a state um so if you haven't rescued a dog before or you're not familiar with the procedure typically you fill in an application form and they just ask you questions about yourself and um, everyone in your household and their ages any other pets you may have and their temperaments whether or not they're neutered what genders they are and you know more details about them your house your garden and it's not to say that for example if you live in a flat that you won't be able to get a dog but they'll just try and use the information to match you with the best dog for you similarly if you that was a weird way i can never say that word similarly if you have children i know a lot of uk rescues um won't rehome with children under a certain age but there are a lot of rescues out there and i'm going to link a bunch of really great rescues in the description box that we were looking at when we were adopting um but they will rehome with children so both buddy siblings actually live with children so yeah they just use that information to try and match you to the dog that is right for you and make sure that you'll kind of be happy together and then if you pass that process you then get home checked and usually that is done in person but because of the current situation everything is virtual so we had to just film a video of our house so us walking in from outside showing the kind of entrance to our house the front door and then just going around our house and showing you know where the dogs would live and then a really important part of the home check is to check your garden and make sure your fences are high enough and that it's fully secure that you've got kind of a locked gate and that dogs can't really get out anywhere so we submitted that and we were told that we would hear back within 24 hours um, and we actually heard back that evening that we had been approved and once again that was one of the happiest feelings ever 
and then we just had a super long wait between then and then when he could actually come home because dogs typically can't travel from abroad into Europe until they're at least four months old because they have to be vaccinated, have the rabies vaccination on top of that and get like their passports done and lots of extra admin. So Amici were great and they sent us weekly update pictures and videos which really kept us going. It was the highlight of our weeks. We would just really look forward to them and we were just kind of ready to bring him home. So when the time finally came um, to collect him, we got added into a Facebook messenger chat with the people that are transporting them from Romania into the UK and they give you updates on the journey and when they're kind of crossing um, from I think, is it Calais into Dover? Just through the Euro Tunnel. My geography is not great, but I'm pretty sure it comes into Dover. Um, ooh, or maybe Folkestone, I'm not sure. Anyway, when they're crossing from France into the UK. And until that point, you're just given an estimated collection time. So we were supposed to be collecting him on Friday morning, but we ended up actually getting him on Thursday afternoon because they took a slightly different route and left earlier, which meant they got hit a lot quicker. So they were messaging all the adopters like, hey, we can actually get your dog to you today. Are you ready for that? And we were like, oh my goodness, yes. So we went and collected him and that was like the most nervous journey of my life. I was so excited. And when the van pulled up, um, we were super excited and emotional and he just looked so cute and tiny. He smelled really bad um, because he'd obviously been traveling in a van for so long, um, bless him. But he was so cute. They just passed him into my arms and immediately I was like, wow. I love you so much. So then we brought him home to our house and my mum had been looking after Kitty um, and had her at her house with Teddy and Panda. And we brought him home into our house. We played with him in the garden for a bit, settled him in. Um, he was super chill and like just a cute little dog, um, especially considering he had such a long journey. We were so impressed with just how relaxed and at home he was. But because he seemed so confident and because I knew he had lived with lots of other dogs in Romania and I'd seen him just kind of roaming around in the really nice fields with them, I thought he would feel really comfortable and confident with dogs. So I said to my mum when she brought Kitty back, you can bring Teddy and Panda, he will probably really like it. Um, but we brought them in and I think the dogs came in quite high energy and he was really nervous and he actually kind of growled at all of them and our dogs are all really submissive so they kind of jumped back like oh my goodness this tiny little puppy is growling at us in our house so i wasn't at all worried about them hurting him because they're all so chilled they were just like jumping out of his way but he obviously felt like he needed to protect himself and we obviously have no idea what he kind of went through before he got rescued, how long he was on the street for. Um, and I guess he just had a really stressful train train um, van journey for two days. And he was just like, who are all of these dogs up in my grill? Um, so I was kind of worried thinking, oh my goodness, is he vicious? Like I've never seen a puppy act like that before, but he was just really scared and overwhelmed. So my mum left with Teddy and Panda and then him and Kitty just slowly got used to each other for the first probably day Kitty was just jumping out of his way like he would come near Kitty and she would just jump and that first day he just took himself into the corner of our sofa and just like slept there he loves that corner of the sofa um and then he would wake up and if he saw kitty he would like growl a bit and i think he was just trying to protect himself but he just gradually learned that she wasn't a threat she learned that he wasn't a threat and within a day they were friends they played i think it was the next evening together and were chasing each other and i was just bawling my eyes out and i was like man this is so special why aren't you crying this is amazing so yeah i feel really lucky that they've gotten so well and then we gradually introduced my mum's dog so we introduced panda um who is the more kind of oblivious one so on that first day when he met them all panda like he was growling so kitty and teddy were staying out of his way but panda is just so oblivious she was just trying to like sit on his face and wagging her tail um she's a really funny little character so we introduced her first and then he got used to her and then teddy the next day and since then he's been great with them and they're all friends which is just all i could hope for so over the first two weeks he has definitely come out of his shell a lot 
He at first was super lazy and just chilled and snuggly, um, which was cute, but that was obviously just because he was tired. So he is actually super playful as well, sometimes a little bit too much. And I'm not sure what it is, but at bedtime, he gets really playful. So we come up to bed and he's just like barking, wanting to play with us. And we're like, dude, this is chill time. So we're working on that, but um, he's a puppy. That is to be expected. He's also teething at the moment. Um, so hopefully his adult teeth will come through soon because he just wants to bite everything because he's obviously really uncomfortable. Um, but yeah, overall, we just feel so lucky. He's fitted, fitted? He's fitted in amazingly with us. He's met lots of dogs on his walks and he has greeted them really well. That was something I was a bit worried about after his initial meet with all of our dogs. Um, but I don't know, maybe it was the home environment, but since then he has just been so happy and confident and yeah, he's just amazing. We feel super lucky. So now that I have got through his adoption story, oh hi Kit, you woke up. Hello. Hey. Let's get on to the Instagram questions. So um, one of the first questions I got was from my friend Cam and he said woof woof. Um, so I will let Buddy take that one. But do you know what that means? No? He's not impressed Cameron. So the next question I got is how did they get delivered from abroad? So Amici transports their dogs um, on a van. So they bring over, I think they do two transport runs a month typically, and they transport quite a lot of dogs on each run to just get as many dogs as they can to their forever homes. So yeah, he was in a crate um, in a van and then they drive through Romania, through Europe, and then cross um, on the Eurotunnel. The next question is, was the adoption process complicated and did the rescue keep you updated? So I guess in my very lengthy um, story that I've just told, I've kind of covered that. So the adoption process is typically that you will see the dog available. And one tip I would definitely give is to follow the Facebook pages and the social media of the rescues, because particularly at the moment when a lot of people are wanting to rescue, they will upload the dogs to their Facebook pages um, as soon as they're brought in. So you can kind of find out when dogs are becoming available for adoption. So yeah, I saw him on Facebook and then filled out an application form from their website. Some rescues contact all applicants, whether you're successful or not, but that's obviously really time consuming. So I think I'm literally just letting you know if you have been successful. So if you have been successful, you'll be asked to do a home check, um, which I had described, and then you get approved. And we had to just pay the adoption fee, I think a week or so before he traveled. And Amici are really great because they will drop off your dog at a kind of drop off point as close as possible to your house. Um, so we were, I think the first drop off point, um, but then they have two vans. I think one traveled up north and one traveled down south and they will kind of do it as close to your house as possible where you can kind of meet to collect your dog. So the second part of that question was, did the rescue keep you updated? So yes, they did. And um, we got about weekly pictures of him which was amazing and really kind of kept us going and especially because he was a puppy and we had quite a long wait it was really cool to get to see him kind of grow and a lot of them were videos and we could see him interacting with other dogs which was really cool the next question is how do you know which organization to trust when you are adopting from abroad so i think that is a really really good question and i would say you've just got to do a lot of research um, so you would expect them, I would say, to have pretty similar homing procedures to the UK. So I think if a rescue doesn't ask to like interview you, to fill out an adoption form or to kind of home check you, that is a red flag. Um, I think also if you can go by recommendation. So we actually spoke to someone um, on Instagram who had adopted from Amici before and I'd also followed them for years and kind of got an understanding of who they are and what they do. Um, so I think if you can go by recommendation, that's great. But then also just do your research because I think unfortunately there are quite a few that are kind of posing as rescues and it can be like a scam or just not very reputable and it's super important especially if you're not going to have met the dog before you adopt them that they put in a lot of work to match you up and make sure you're compatible because for example if we'd got an older dog that hated other dogs that would have been a huge issue for us because we have kitty and we needed them to you know be friendly with other dogs so yeah I think make sure they have the right procedures procedures in place, do your research and 
chat to previous adopters if you possibly can. Um, I will link below a list of rescues that we have done a lot of research on and that we were considering adopting from so I would always recommend that you do your own research but as maybe a starting point for rescues that might be good to look at I will link those down below. The next question is how many times did you see him before you knew he was the one and how long till you brought him home? Um, so as I said we saw him and we instantly applied. I think that's probably Probably a lot easier with a puppy because there wasn't that much information about him as he was a puppy. I think if it was an older dog you would want to find out a lot more about their personality and their temperament especially if you have other animals or children in the home but yeah for us it was love at first sight with Buddy and I feel like we had a good kind of inclination and second part of that question how long until we brought him home um so I think the wait was about six weeks um from when we reserved him until when he came home and that was just waiting for him to get all of his travel documentation and all of his vaccinations. The next question um, is, we'd like to ask how you found the overall experience and if there are any tips on making it better and that's actually from another rescue which is really great I think that they're asking um, ways to improve um, so yeah we found the overall experience amazing um, we wish we could have got him sooner but there's obviously nothing that could have been done about that and Amici were amazing at keeping us updated which made it go a lot quicker the team were really friendly and always happy to send us updates and I was worried that I was being annoying I was like sorry but can we have another picture of our baby um, and they were always really nice and happy to send them and it was really nice because once we got him home we've been able to update them and send them pictures rather than us bugging them for pictures and the final question is how long did it take for buddy to settle in so as you can tell he's pretty relaxed here um i think he's probably still settling in and just you know coming out of his shell it's obviously a really intense experience to hit for him to be living on the streets or whatever happened to him before he was rescued to then be brought to a rescue center which is the first home that he's really known be with his siblings and other dogs then be brought over to like a foreign country with new random people and new dogs it's quite a traumatic experience for him so he's definitely still coming out of his shell but as you can see he's pretty comfy pretty chilled out he is getting closer to us, closer to Kitty, closer to the other dogs. So I'd say that he's settled in really well, but he's definitely still settling in. And I think with a rescue dog, you just have to give them a lot of time. We were fully expecting him to be really kind of nervous and maybe scared of us, but that hasn't been the case at all. He was more nervous of other dogs, which was a surprise. So I think you need to maybe be prepared to expect the unexpected and just roll with it and let the dog kind of take the lead and tell you what they need. So I feel we have been incredibly lucky with how well we settled in and especially the toilet training that was such a nice surprise and um, something we were fully prepared to deal with um, but yeah he's done that amazingly he is excited to go on walks now like every new experience we give him he handles amazingly he's met my two little cousins who are very high energy um, and they absolutely love him and he really loved them they were cuddling him and he was just so lovely with them um, so that was really nice to see so we're just really proud of him and we feel so lucky and so so grateful to Amici for choosing us to be his family um yeah we're very happy before we go I also want to say that I am so proud and grateful to this angel dog um she has just been amazing I would not have been able to get through the past like three four months without her she's just so special and the way that she has embraced buddy and just given him space when he needed it plays with him most of the time that he wants it i'm just so proud of her and we feel so lucky to have her oh and you bud and you so thank you so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it and stay tuned for a lot more dog content i think this might just turn into a dog channel um because i love dogs in case you can't tell and i just think we're just so lucky to have dogs they really are the best things in the world um so thank you for watching and we will see you very soon bye